So today we're going to be talking about Martha Coolidge. Um, she's a very well-known American director, um, especially known for her films like Valley Girls, Real Genius, and The Prince and Me, who have since gathered uh, a certain cult following and received cult status since they came out. Besides her work as a director, she was also the former president of the Directors Guild of America. And she initially began her career making documentaries in the early 1970s. Um, the scholar Scott McDonald um, has mentioned that one of her documentaries, David Off and On, from 1972, was one of the only handful of films that actually instigated the term personal documentary. So her films, especially her documentaries back in the 70s, really made a splash and garnered her uh, several awards that eventually brought her to um, mainstream movie making. Um, she then moved into fi uh, feature films as a prodigy of the famous um, Francis, Ford, Francis Ford Coppola. Martha Coolidge eventually emerged into Hollywood spotlight in 1983 with the deep interpretation of Valley Girls, a film that eventually became a surprise hit and launched the career of uh, Nicolas Cage. Um, after this, there was always a flood of offers to do even more uh, teen sex comedies, including Joy of Sex, a National Lampoon movie, Rambling Rose, and Bear, Bear Essentials. The movies usually focus on illuminating the struggle of characters as they face challenges, whether seen through a comedic lens, like in some of her films, like Material Girls, or a serious lens in Angie and her other more uh, dramatic takes. In an interview she actually conducted with Laura Fitzsimmons with publication Literature Film Quarterly, uh, Coolidge adds more commentary in her directing style by explaining her interest in psychology and how she's so interested in understanding people. She actually stated that she believes that understanding people is the source of drama and the source of complexity, conflict, and resolution, ultimately attributing her stride to understand people as her success of storytelling. So as we can see, movies are very focused on character development and having good characters. Martha Coolidge was recently asked about women in Hollywood mm -hmm. in a profile made about her career for PBS. She states, it's easier for me now because I'm established. On the other hand, in the last five years, it has gotten incredibly tough for women directors. She says they actually do exist, but that hiring has actually plummeted drastically. She continues, it's bad enough for women actors, but there will always be part for them. That's not true for women directors. You don't have to have a woman behind the scenes, if you know what I mean. You do have to have some women in front of the camera. After working for a bit in Hollywood in both film and television, Coolidge finally caught her break with the 1983 film Valley Girl. The film not only changed her life, but as previously stated, introduced Nicolas Cage in his first leading role. The film is about a teenager named Julie Richmond, played by Deborah Foreman, who is enveloped in the excessive culture of the San Fernando Valley. After breaking it off with her boyfriend, Julie falls for an edgy Hollywood punk named Randy, played by Nicolas Cage, torn between fitting in with her superficial friends and embracing a more non-conformist lifestyle. Julie has to choose between fitting in and being out of love, or standing out and being in love. In the film Valley Girl, made in 1983, the film deals with the topics of teenager conformity, cultural diversity, and love. Quotes that touch on these topics are, It's no different than what we do. It's just the way that we do things that makes the difference. Quoted by Randy, speaking of how their differences aren't so great. In addition, another quote is, Shit, Julie, this is between you and me, not the rest of the world. Quoted by Randy, speaking on how their love shouldn't be affected by the interests of others. The film The Prince and Me is about a pre-med student, Paige Morgan, who's played by Julia Stiles, who befriends a wealthy Danish student named Eddie, played by Luke Mulbley. Paige falls for Eddie despite his initially boorish behavior, later discovering that his parents are the king and queen of Denmark and that he's the heir to the throne. Struggling to fit into each other's worlds, the two need to decide if their romance is something that can last. 
In this film, there's a complication that interrupts its initial retreatist trajectory. Retreatism is a common theme in post-feminist film, often with the scenario being that a well-educated female becomes empowered by choosing to leave this public sphere to devote herself to her husband. The film doesn't follow this as Paige puts her education above Eddie and ultimately the throne to continue pursuing her own interests and growing individually. The film The Prince and Me, made in 2004, deals with the topics of socioeconomics, cultural diversity, and love. A quote that really hits home in this film is, You two are of a completely different caliber, by Soren, Eddie's servant, who places Paige above Eddie in stature, making Eddie rethink his place in the world. The film Material Girls was released in the fall of 2006 and stars real-life sisters Hilary and Haley Duff. The film follows the lives of two wealthy sisters, both heiresses to their family's cosmetic fortune, as they are given a wake-up call and a scandal and into an investigation strips them from their wealth. Though it is tempting for them to follow the advice of their board of directors and sell the company to the biggest competitor, the gals decide to take matters into their own hands and save the company that their father built from scratch. Although it wasn't really a hit at the box office, it is Martha Coolidge's most recent theatrical release. The film Material Girls, made in 2006, deals with the topics of materialism, cultural diversity, and love. A quote from the film is, I don't understand why we didn't get any unemployment money. We've never even been employed. Doesn't that mean that we should get more unemployment? By Tansy, played by Hilary Duff. This quote highlights their original inability to connect with those less fortunate than them due to their previous superiority economically, which later changes in the film. All three films by Coolidge deal with cultural diversity and love. Often the struggle to hold on to the love the main characters share is due to their difference in culture and economic status. This struggle is imposed in three ways in the three different films. In Valley Girl, Julie's friends didn't like how Randy was different, so they had Julie choose between them. In The Prince and Me, Paige was unable to see herself fitting into the role that Eddie needed her to fill as future queen. In Material Girls, Ava made Tansy feel that due to her privileged status that she shouldn't like Rick. Most recently, Martha has helped found the Association of Independent Video and Filmmakers and IFP, the Independent Filmmaker Project, organizations that help up-and-coming filmmakers fund their films. Since the release of Material Girls in 2006, she has recently moved to directing popular television shows including Sex in the City, The Night Shift, Madam Secretary, and most recently the show Angie Tribeca. She has recently started production on a new film called Music War and Love, which is slated to be released early next year and becoming her first feature film in almost 10 years. Thank you for listening to our presentation on Martha Coolidge. Please reference our work cited if you'd like to learn more about this director. To view Coolidge's breakthrough film, Valley Girl, please click the image on this screen now. Thank you.